Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we will learn how to log in in Scratch and I will also describe the menu bar. So let's get started. First, open Chrome and search scratch.mit.edu. Press enter and then click on join Scratch. Now here you have to create your username. Suppose I have written Agni new. Now here you have to create your password. So write down your password. And then here I have to type the password again and click on next. Now here you have to select the country in which you live. So I am selecting India. Click on next. Here you have to select your date of birth. Now click on next. Here I have to select your gender. So I will select female and then click on next. Now here you have to uh, enter your email through which you want to register. So let's write it. Then click on create your account. So here has been a message. Welcome to Scratch of the new. Want to share and comment? Click the link on the email we sent to the email through which you registered. Now click on get started. Now let's go to the message box. There is one message. Welcome to Scratch after you make. Okay, okay, fine. So let's go to my stuff. Now here has been an error. Confirm your email to enable sharing. To remove this error, simply open your Gmail. Now here you have to click on confirm my Scratch account. And simply click on confirm my account. Click on OK, let's go. Now again go to my stuff. See there is no error means the add-in has been removed. It is the page of my stuff. So let's create a new project. Click on new project. So see this is the first page of project. Now it is the header. You can also say it is the menu bar. There are several options provided to you. This is the block palette. Uh, uh, many blocks are there for coding which are provided to you. This is the script area. Uh, it is used to drag and drop the blocks to, for coding. It is the state. The effect of the coding has been shown here. This is the sprite list. Information about this each and every sprite is here. Now let's understand the menu bar. The first option is to select the language. By default it is English. Let's change the language. Suppose I can choose Dutch. See all the options are in now Dutch language. Now let's go to English only. Now the second option comes is file. There are several options new, save now, save as a copy, load from your computer, save to your computer. The difference between save as a copy and save to your computer is uh, if you click on save as a copy, the project will be saved on the web. And if you will click on save as uh, save on the computer, the project will be saved to your computer. So let's save it to your computer and see untitled or SV3 which is our extension has been saved. Now load from your computer. Here you can load any uh, project from your computer. Now the next option is edit. There are two options here restore and turn on turbo mode. So if you have by mistake and deleted the sprite and you want to restore it, so simply click on restore sprite and the sprite will be restored. Now turn on turbo mode. Turbo mode is an exciting function but I will make another video in detail of and on the turbo mode. Simply press on turn on turbo mode and turn off turbo mode. Now next comes tutorials. Uh, uh, if you will click on tutorials, there are several animations and videos uh, for the beginners to understand the scratch.
Now, next is the title box. The by, by default it is untitled. If you want to change it, simply change it. <laughs> so I have written first project. Okay. So I have written name. Now the next option comes is share. If you want to share your project on the web, simply click on share. See the project has been shared to the web. This is the thumbnail. And uh, let's go to my stuff. And see the project has can be seen in the shared projects. There, uh, there are several options that who has liked it, who has commented. Now let's unshare it. And in the unshared projects option, the project can be seen. Now let's go inside the project. You can delete the project also, but let's go inside the project. Now comes the option C project page. If you want to see your project page before sharing, so click on that option, see the title, your thumbnail and the instruction box for the project. You want to share any instruction for the project you have shared simply write in the instruction board and you can write the notes and credits also and if you are ready to share click on the share option now let's go to see inside and then there's the option my stuff if you click on the option you will go to the my stuff page now next option and the last option is the profile option there are several profile my stuff account settings sign out so let's go to account settings and you here you can change uh, uh, change your account settings you want to change your username location you can change anything so only the one uh, function uh, i have not told you which is the turbo mode i will make another video so till then bye bye